ketamine has been used as an anesthesia medicine since the 1960s. It is more commonly known as a party drug, Special K. But in recent years, the drug has shown promise in treating severe depression. A new ketamine spray, Spravato, was recently approved by the FDA. Joining me now is psychiatrist Dr. Sandhya Prashad talking about this very significant treatment. Tell me how. So one of the reasons this is so significant is this is the biggest advancement in depression since Prozac, which was FDA approved 30 years ago. This is different because this works on glutamate. Mm -hmm. Our traditional antidepressants like Prozac work on serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine. Ketamine works on the glutamate system. Our traditional antidepressants take three to four weeks to start working and oftentimes many patients don't respond. Up to a third of patients will fail to respond to multiple attempts at treatment. That can be a long time to mm -hmm. be trying this trial and error. Ketamine can often work in a day. Um, patients will often have their suicidal symptoms, um, um, their suicidal thoughts go away almost immediately. Many patients will say after a treatment that they can't make their brain go there. I've had patients tell me that before. So this is a really, this is yeah. a big deal. And this That's FDA approval allows this drug to be more accessible to patients. Mm -hmm. And you tell me that you've been using this in your practice for a while now, but that was administered through IV and this is the spray. What is the difference and what would make people choose one over the other? So I actually started my practice by giving a patient it intranasally mm -hmm. and then learned how to do it IV because IV was lasting longer. So that's primarily the difference. Um, with a nasal spray, you usually um, are getting a lower dose overall because of the just the dynamics of how it is distributed in the body. Mm -hmm. um, IV, you know, you're getting 100% of it all um, that you know is gonna be absorbed. Mm -hmm. So IV tends to last longer. The nasal spray um, will require more frequent treatment. One of the barriers to this treatment up until now is that it didn't have FDA approval, so it didn't have insurance coverage. And ongoing treatment out of pocket gets very expensive. Mm -hmm. Even though the nasal spray might require more frequent treatment, it will have insurance coverage and should overall be more affordable for patients. Incredible. Thank you, Dr. Prashad. We appreciate that.